Hey, what's going on guys? Kenan here. I'm really bummed out. Um, Darwin is not in good shape right now. She got herself, I just got home from dinner with Kate. She reached up to get weeds and slipped up. That's what I think happened, but her whole head was stuck. She must have gone in like this and her whole head was stuck and she's been struggling for quite a while because she's made this kind of, she's kind of made this kind of, um, you know, like, you can see where she was struggling is what I'm trying to get at. And now we're trying to get these knuckleheads away Socrates and her away uh, from Darwin because I don't want them crowding her and now I've got to run to Dr. Mike Gillen and get I have to get some uh, anti-inflammatories because I'm really freaking out here here Kate and I had to lift this tortoise we had to lift her way up in the air somehow we did it and I had to get her neck out of here but you can see it's swollen and I'm freaking out she she can blink I think she, I'm hoping she strained herself that's what I'm hoping happened I hope she didn't break her neck but the doctor wants me to rush down I have to rush to dr. Mike I have to get some anti-inflammatories and I'm gonna inject her with some anti-inflammatories just to see if we can get the swelling down um, so that's what I've got to do now that's what's going on here and I just wanted to document this because I, I don't know what I'll do if this is, I mean, I hope she can pull back from this. She was, I don't know how long, we've been gone for about two hours. So it's been hot. I wet her down because she's also feels very warm and it's the end of the day here. So I've got to get hustling and, and I, I got about a half an hour drive there and back. So it's going to get me an hour. So I got to get moving guys, but Darwin is not in good shape right now. I hope we don't lose her. Kate's been helping out here. It's My phone's a little fogged up because of the air conditioning in the car. How's she doing? She's breathing. Every now and then she stops. But she's okay, breathing. here. She's, what we're going to do, and then it's foggy because of that darn thing, but I have to put an injection in her, and I've got to get her... Um, I gotta get it into this muscle right here, right by the plastron. Oh, good. Well, that's good news. I hate to do this, but we gotta get a this anti-inflammatory into her. Here's a plastron. We're gonna just go. Do you want me to hold her leg? There's not. You're not gonna be able to. Okay. Now I gotta pull back. Okay. There's no blood, so we're gonna put it in. That's what Dr. Mike told me to do. Okay, I gotta do this for three days. This sucks. And so Jerry's on his way over. I'm gonna go get the hand truck. We're gonna lift her up because I don't want her to just stay here because tomorrow morning, the sun, I don't know if she's gonna be moving a lot. So we're gonna put her inside of her house and we'll just let her rest in there. I also don't, I, I just don't wanna think of maybe another animal uh, somehow just attacking her while she's kind of incapacitated at the moment but she just just the fact she can move is fine she might have fractured a vertebrae they're such tough animals she could fracture herself um but i'm i'm actually cautiously optimistic i mean but that swelling is bad you can see it's real swollen yeah she's trying to move let me go get this hand truck oh look at her go oh wow that was must have been a magic thing this is promising but i want to get wow she's moving i mean that must have been a miracle thing because uh, she's just been sitting here for an hour barely able to move her head well you know they get so exhausted she was probably so exhausted look at this she probably wasn't breathing hun but you've been blowing into her nose you've been giving her oxygen uh -huh. look at her go oh my god are you kidding me she's moving here hun just okay. keep an eye on her i'm gonna be right back i'm still gonna I'm gonna put her into her house tonight anyway. Come on. That's unbelievable. Come on, my friend. Oh my God, I'll be right back. Because Jerry and I are gonna lift her up, we'll put her on the hand truck and I'll put her in her house. And this way I feel more safe, you know? This is incredible. She was not moving like this. For an hour she just laid there. And I was blowing into her nostrils. <laughs> Looks like her neck is not even, I mean, it's swollen, but 
when she pulls it out, it's not that swollen. She's just gotta get her strength. Good girl. Keep coming? Or do you just want to show off for your dad? Hmm? All right, Jerry's here. So we're going to lift her up onto this cart. And uh, what's up, dude? She moved a bit. Oh, she did? Yeah, but I still want to, we'll put her on. You see this thing? We could get her on there. We could pull it. And, you know, just someone steadies her. But you see how swollen she is? And she's not, you know, it's. I just gave her an injection of an anti-inflammatory but she lifted her head. I think she's exhausted and swollen, probably strained her neck, you know? Yeah. So what I think we should do, we'll get this like just like this and we'll just put her this way, like just up and mm -hmm. on. So where's the best place to lift? I think just be careful. Like we're going to lift here and here, I think is the best place. Ready? Oh. It. That'll do it. All right, now I'll I'll actually we could probably just wheel her like this if you just steady her and keep her from there you go. How's her neck just, okay just there. keep her from falling off. Yeah, I think I have a flat tire, don't I? So we're Yeah, I can see. No, I can't see. Oh, okay. If you have a flat tire. Oh, don't worry about it. It's working. So no. We're just gonna get her into the house. I think putting her in the house, I can get her to. I can push her in somehow. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Thanks. All right. Turn here up. What I'll do next is just keep her there. All right, bro. I'm going to get her as close as possible. I'll go in the house. We're going to gently push her off this thing. I need to push it a little bit more like this. There. Because this way, let me just see. Okay. All right. If you can just gently push her towards me. Tilt it. Yep. There you go. There you go. She's got leg strength. She's actually yeah. helping. Watch that one leg. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? It's, her leg is stuck it's in the thing. Stuck. Is yeah, it kind of is. Thing? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Okay. She was pushing herself in. Yeah. She wants to be in there. Yeah, I think she will feel safer in there. <sighs> yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna like sit with her for a while and thank the jury. Thank, thanks, Jerry. <sighs> so we'll muscle. Just, <laughs> yeah, we'll just, I'm gonna sit with her in there and just uh, see what happens. I'll be back tomorrow with another injection. We'll see what she's doing. All right, everyone, it is uh, day two of the Darwin drama, and um, I've got to give her her second injection. I checked her this morning. She had quite a swollen neck. Her neck is really, really swollen. But as you guys saw, we put her inside the shed, her house. I'm keeping her isolated. Right now, she just wants to rest. What's been happening? Oh, boy. And of course, uh, the kids want to see how their big mama's doing. There's Nostradamus. It's okay, buddy. You're not going to be able to go in there for a little while. All right. Um, it's dark in there. So I've got a bike light here that I use when I ride at night. Let's see if we can get this thing on. There we go. This is going to be a little bit frustrating to do because I don't, I'm not going to have both hands free, but let's get in there and see if I can show you guys just what's happening. So let's go see her. She was breathing nicely on her own. Here she is. Let's see, this was earlier today. There she is, thank God. I am so worried about her, guys. You can really see how swollen her neck is. It's incredibly swollen, but you gotta think, she's 350 pounds and these animals don't, they just don't think, they get into danger and she just only knows to pull her head in. So her head is being trapped, she's trying to pull it in, she's wrenching on it. 
that's why it's so important that we get this medication into her, this anti-swelling. There's been a little fluid coming from her mouth. I've spoken to my buddy Sam Piscucci, and because she had been in the sun uh, so much, we think that she's overheated a little bit, and she potentially has some fluid in her lungs. Now, you can hear, listen. I don't know if you guys can hear that. She's breathing normally. She can move her head, but it's incredibly swollen. Um, she responds, of course, she's responding to me, touching her. Um, she can close her eyes. She did move yesterday on her own, but since I put her in here, um, she's just been, you know, not in a good mood. Or rather, she's just been resting, because that's, that's all we're going to be able to do with her right now. Um, it's going to be a long process getting this animal back to health because you got to imagine, you know what it's like when you get a sprain. Sometimes breaking a bone is better than spraining or, uh, excuse me, yeah, better than a sprain because you're tearing up ligaments, you're tearing up muscle. Uh, and sometimes that takes longer to heal uh, than a clean break on a bone. Now, I really hope this is a bad sprain of her neck. And I hope that there's been no broken vertebra or anything like that. She can move. But the reality is, um, I don't want her to have damaged any of her bone. So I've got to now set you guys up. You'll have to forgive me here. I'm going to need both hands, and we're going to give her her second injection. And I've got to kind of go in um, underneath, as I did yesterday, because that's where the doctor told me I've got to get this injection in. So this is like super, super critical stuff. I'm going to gently move her little neck and we're going to go right in and down oh i know i know i know i know baby i know baby i know baby i love you we pull back a little oh no oh no we lost a little medication there it is okay okay it's all done it's all done. The damn plunger came out a little bit. That wasn't the best, the best job I've ever done, but we did get it in. Um, I was supposed to pull back and get some air, but we kind of put her in there. As you can see, she can move, but I just don't know what's going on. And right now with the swelling, it does look like her neck kind of tilts. She's Her head looks like it's kind of tilted to her right, our left, just a little bit. But hopefully this swelling will go down and we'll just let her do her thing. Um, that she was able to get some liquid out is good. Um, sometimes you got to be careful with fluid in the lungs of a tortoise because they can develop pneumonia very quickly, very quickly because they don't have diaphragms to help them expel the fluid. You know, when you can get, like when you cough or uh, you can get, um, mucus out of your lungs. Well, reptiles or rather uh, tortoises can't do that. So she's been drooping and letting it drip out. But again, you hear her. Nice, clear breathing. So she's breathing. She was already a great weight. Let's just hope this is a massive sprain of her neck. Um, and we'll just let her relax. All right, man. Day two. Got to get out of here. Oh. Well, oh, look, these guys want to know what's going on. Their pal, it's just not the same without her running around, is it, guys? Oh, no, you got a little tick on you, dude. Don't you socks. I got to get this tick off you. There's always something going on, man, and I'm going to also have to start fixing the, um, the enclosure to make sure that these guys don't have any more accidents that happen. I have to tickle her. Tickle her chin. Come on out. It probably would be easier. Oh, there it is. I got it. There it is. This time of year, you just get ticks. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, guys. I'm doing everything I can for her. I'm just glad that I was able to come home when I did yesterday. All right, guys. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm a little hopeful here. She's moving her head. I put some food down. Come on. Let's see what she does. Oh, come on, girl. Oh, please, God. Come on, baby. Come on, have a little snack. See if you can eat a little bit. 
Oh, she's holding her neck up. That's so good. Come on, baby. Just get a little. I made it really mushy for her. Hopefully she'll eat it. That she's interested makes me happy that she came over here. Her neck does look like it's a little less swollen, but come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just a little bit of food for you. Aw. She's interested. That's good. Come on, Angel. Just a little bit. Nice and easy. I know you've had a lot of action lately. This is very telling. Come on, babe. Oh, I hope she makes a full recovery. What you doing, boo-boo? What you doing there? You gonna open your mouth? Can you open your mouth for me? Can you open it? This is so nerve-wracking. Oh, it must hurt. She's hungry, though. Oh, that's a good girl. That's my girl. Nice and easy. She's definitely, um... She's definitely had some trauma being stuck like that. Oh, that's a good girl. Let's see if you can swallow that without a lot of pain. Come on, baby. Oh, oh that's my Darwin. That's a tough girl right there. She's going to be okay, I think. Good, good, good. So this is just one of those things, guys and girls out there, you know, when you have a large group of animals, you're going to have accidents. I mean, I'm one of seven kids. My mother and father had to deal with scraped knees, car accidents, bike accidents, hospitalizations, bad report cards. I mean, you name it. They lived through it. And some of you out there, I know on the internet, a lot of you will say, oh, you've had a lot of bad luck. And why do you have so many animals? And I really don't have a lot of animals, uh, considering some other people out there. Um, if you have animals, you are going to have accidents. And what happened to Darwin was an accident. So this is only two days after. She is eating. Thank goodness. I'm going to keep soft food on her. I'm going to make sure she keeps her weight up. But... Um, I don't know what else to say other than, once again, I am extremely lucky and I'm thankful to uh, the universe, the creator, God, whatever you want to call it. I'm just very thankful um, that I've been fortunate with this animal, that I, I got home in time. And special shout out to my wife who looked over and just thought things looked peculiar. So I can't believe this gal. What a beauty you are. I love you so much. I love all these animals so much. And she wants to come out maybe. I don't know. I think I'll let her out. Let her get a little walking going on. Come on, baby. You could come out if you want. This is amazing. Just a great, a great situation. And there's Nostradamus. These animals are my family. They're much more than just animals. They're family members. I love them dearly. And I want to do right by them. So the fact that, you know, she got her head stuck and was injured uh, really scared me. She's one of our just big, gentle, beautiful creatures. And I took her on as a responsibility. Um, and I am going to be repairing that area of the fence so that this can never happen again. And it just goes to show you, everyone, that if you think it can happen, it will happen. So... I've now learned a lesson, another lesson. Oops, sorry, sweet pea. Oop, God gracious, that's not fun. I'm sorry. Come here. I've learned another lesson, um, something that I didn't think would, you know, be a problem, has reared its ugly, ugly head. It's a problem. So, um, yeah, this video was shot on my iPhone and a little bit on GoPro. Uh, so I hope you guys don't mind. But you can see she's got some black and blue, okay, and some roughed up. She was roughed up. She was really tight in there. But judging from what we just saw, her eating a little bit, that really gives me a lot of hope. And um, I will continue to up, update you guys on this uh, situation. And we'll hope that this beauty makes a complete and utter recovery. Accidents will happen, guys. I show you everything, good and bad, on this channel. I try to be as authentic 
and honest with you as I possibly can be when it comes to my animals. Um, I just want you all to learn from my mistakes. So if you ever have a tortoise uh, that, that has a neck injury or got its head stuck, um, man, now you know what's going on. Still a little bit swollen, but that's definitely going to go down. And remember, I have another shot I'm going to give her later on this afternoon. But I wanted to finish this video with what I consider hope. Um, I do don't really see a lot of other drama. Um, look at this beauty. What an animal. Think about having that head stuck and that massive body. That massive body pulling against that little head. She was probably scared and just wanted to get her head out. And they just don't understand or they don't think. They're just all instinct and they're ripping and pulling. And you can see the abrasions right there. But that she's holding her little head up and that she's coming out to say hello to everyone. It's just making me happy, man. This was a disaster that would have been, oh my God, I would have been inconsolable. I don't mind if an animal gets sick and dies, but when it, I mean, I mind. If it's neglect, I mind. But something like this, just a crazy, strange accident. I definitely didn't want a beautiful 30-year-old tortoise to pass away way before her time. My hope is that I get to leave these animals to Sophia and Leo, who I know will take care of them and continue this tradition that I've started here at the camp. <sighs> I am so excited, man. I am so excited. This, we're not 100% out of the woods because anytime you have a, a trauma with an animal, there could potentially be some other problems from the stress. But the fact that she's holding her head up, she's moving all four legs, she's taking some food, she's slowly getting back to that spunky Darwin personality we all know and love. Albeit with what looks like a little bit of a crick in her neck, but hey, listen, that's, uh, what is the term? Bones heal, chicks dig stars, pain is temporary, but glory is forever. We don't escape this life without getting banged up a little bit. So I don't care if she's banged up a little bit, I just want her to be around so that you and me and my family, we can all learn and enjoy from this ancient animal. All right, everyone, there you go. A really hopeful ending for a crazy few days that I've had. Thanks everyone for joining me on this journey. Once again, if you um, got something from this video, please leave a comment and subscribe. Leave us some well wishes and uh, we will keep an eye on this beauty. And I just thank you guys for always joining me on this, um, on this journey, whether it's high or low, we are learning. That is life. We do not get through life without getting banged up a little bit. Darwin is no different. All right, guys, thanks so much. Love you, Darwin. Good girl, you rest in this nice rain. Get a little drink of water. All right, everyone, we'll talk to you soon.